Welcome back to round number two. Um, I win the die roll. I'm playing against someone named Boros Charm, which is pretty exciting. If they end up being on burn, I'm excited to see what what happens here. I just choose to lead off with the Gilded Goose since I am a bit light on lands. And I open up with a turn to Emery. My opponent bolts my goose before I can make more food. I also kill my Emery. I bobble myself and choose not to fetch here. Yeah, I should probably slow down a little bit. Uh, Inquisition my opponent. I see two lands and two burn spells. And an Eidolon. I take the Eidolon because I just can't beat an Eidolon. Um, just a quick momentary pause. I, I do these faster videos um, for matches that I think are going to go really long. So I can kind of like hopefully summarize like a something that took 45 to 50 minutes and would have taken longer if I was talking through everything. I can try to give a quick overview of what the match was like in like a five minute little video. That's why, that's why I'm doing this couple of these replay videos sprinkled in here and there. So I cast Piling Needle named um, Sunbaked Canyon and I use the two extra mana to cast an Emery here. Emery survives, my opponent tries casting an Eidolon, and I Metallic Rebuke it. And then eat some food. I'm going to play a Bobble, pass turn, holding up the Archmage's Charm. I also can get a Mystic Sanctuary and buy back like another Archmage's Charm. It's in my graveyard here. I seize an Inquisition, I shuffle that away, and put the Archmage's Charm on top. Well, I put it were on top, sorry. And here, I choose to whir for two and get the Thopter Foundry. Buy back the Bobble. Bobble me. Forest on top. Fetch that away. We don't want to draw into a forest. Opponent bolts me in response. I'm going to Archmage Charm. Counter that. Cast Sword of the Meek, and my opponent concedes to what will be me gaining four life. Game two. Spoilers, there wasn't a game three. So I bring in the extra um, Fatal Push, and I take out by the Needle. It actually did some damage there. My opponent couldn't uh, crack that Pain Land to draw another card. Uh, I also take out Thought Seize and a single Whir here. So I'm on the draw. This is my opening hand with three lands, Astrolabe, Bobble, Charm. I feel like this is like almost like the perfect hand I want for this matchup. Uh, obviously, I'd love to see an Uro, but this can give me a extra information. Bobble, Scry, Push, Kill something, Astrolabe, make my mana painless. So, opponent suspends Rift Bolt. I choose I don't like what's on top of my deck. So I shuffle that away, end up drawing a Whirr, which is pretty nice because I have that Thopter in hand. I push the Eidolon using Island Astrolabe and cast an Astrolabe and a Bobble, passing turn. Opponent Lava Spikes me, Boros Charms me at sorcery speed, and um, I draw Uro and just gain some life and push that ahead. Once again, I, I bobble myself, don't like a card, shuffle that away. Opponent passes uh, with three mana held up. Now, here's a pretty pretty important spot. I can cast Uro, right? Which would put me up to 11 life. Now, if my opponent has Skullcrack, I won't go up to 11 and still go to 5. And then if they have three cards, they're going to draw one. So let's say they have four cards here. If one Skullcrack... I'll be at five life. My opponent will have three other cards. If two of them are bolts or like a bolt goblin guide, 
bolt any other creature, I'm just dead. So I'm dead to Skullcrack if I hard cast Uro here. So I choose instead just to pass the turn holding up Archmage's Charm um, and or a Whirr. It's a little conservative, but I just, I just flat out lose to Skullcrack. This still lets me gain some incidental life, sacrificing my Astrolabes. And my opponent wears my Thopter Foundry, which I just let that happen, and then I counter their Bolt. He smashes the rings, my Astrolabe, and now with my opponent not tap, tapped effectively out from being able to cast Skullcrack, I fetch a basic Forest and cast Uro. Opponent puts me down to three, but the last card in their hand is not a Bolt. So I just gain a ton of life, put another Archmage's Charm on top of my deck, and cast Urza. At this point, there's nothing really my opponent can do. I even counter the Searing Blaze. And they concede here. Uh, I will be untapping with Cryptic Mana, with Whir Mana. Doesn't let me draw a card. And attacking with an Uro and gaining even more life. So I just absolutely wrecked my burn opponent game too but i think the critical line was when i had that four mana with the two astrolabes i could have bought back the uro but i chose not to something i just i knew i was dead to skull crack turns out my opponent didn't have it but that would have absolutely lost me the game instead my line was i could whir um and just gain a couple life off the thopter foundry which my opponent <laughs> decided to try to wear tear which i did not care about so that was the burn matchup. Helped a lot um, with Uro here, which is pretty sweet.